All right, welcome back to the channel. We're trying something a little different here. We're going with showing you guys how we uh, pay for all the hundreds of cars I have here. So we have JC here with his F20B 2B 95? 94. 94, Civic 94. Coupe. And uh, we're gonna pull the tranny, get the tranny rebuilt somewhere else and pop the tranny back in. So let's get into it. working on popping the bumper off here because he thinks it might help i don't know why but we have free space now and we can see the header clearly and seeing that this car was in an accident no, no i'm just kidding i'm about to say <laughs> where all right um, Which where? so i'm gonna it's the first time in a while pulling h2b apart that's not an ef so let's see we got somebody started for me already. Thank you, somebody. Uh, looks like we got most of the OEM bolt sizes, the QSD sizes. Looks like a lot of 19s and 17s, some miscellaneous 12s, and a 32. What, what, why are we doing? What are we doing? Why, I'm why are start we taking this? You, fool. Oh. Um, Thanks. Uh, <laughs> yep. So. We'll get into uh, putting the car up on stands and get into the actual disassembly. <laughs> I, had, I didn't do the manual touch in the title. I wanted That's to expose I, it. I wanted to expose it to see what was going on because it kept coming off. Who are you talking to? Both of y'all. Niggas? Uh, why would you cut the timing cover? To, that would let you know the belt's walking and prevent it from falling off. Look, look, bro. It's over here. Look. It's on. I just exposed it. That's all. All right. So if I leave a bolt somewhere and it, you know, <laughs> suspension hops up and happens to fall in there, Oh, this is open the whole side. You have to face TV. Oh, uh, in most cars. See, on uh, mine I had the um the cover like up to here, but I didn't tighten. <laughs> All right. So like a dummy as always, thought I had the camera going on the time lapse, but we went, got the tranny out already. I'm about to load it up in the car, take it to the other location. Tranny's right there. Hopefully it goes in all the gears. And then should have a good time this weekend at IFO. Thank you. See, so he's happy. Oh, oh, I thought you were going to kick. Hey. Fucking Teddy. <laughs> Dread lock. All right, so we'll pick up again. We'll see if we can get some footage of the tranny Dread being brothers. taken apart, put back together, inspected, all that stuff. And then we'll return... Uh, putting the old girl back together so we're back today it's another day we got the training rebuilt we'll put that footage here all right we're already uh here i'm getting two And I lost myself within the fire, breaking free from my desire. A heart of gold forged to inspire its starfire. It's
desire A heart of gold forge to inspire A star fire It's Tell me now, 
What's left to lose if we And now that we got through the rebuild of the transmission, let's actually put it in and hope it goes into gears and he can find them this time. <laughs> all right, so here's where we are. We got the transmission up. It's all mounted on. Just got to do the two 19 millimeters on the back of the T-bracket. Um, tranny mount is on. T-bracket is pretty much bolted on, except for those 19s I just spoke about. I don't know why I'm mentioning it again. And then axles and fluid. And that's about it. Hopefully they built the training properly and it goes in the gears and drives off. So, yeah. <laughs> you fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get this together so we can get out of here and get on to the next stuff. All right, so we got the car put back together. Transmission's in, slave, all of it's all put back together. And we are just about to do the first startup. And JC's over here fighting with the ECU. You got it. Oh. Alright, first startup. Oh wait. Hang on. Alright, good.
slider, right? Yeah. No, nah, that, that didn't just happen. That, you that's, didn't keep hearing it? Yeah. Like, all right, fine. 